let's start with my interface my interface is a very busy interface so many tools icons panels are available here in the top row these all are different different menus related to modeling texturing lighting and different different effects related options are available in the top row if you are working with modeling so make sure this tool set is assigned with modeling because if you are using different tool sets so these menu sets uh, will change so make sure modeling tool set is assigned in the second row these are very common tools like save open redo undo and these are other selection related options and these all are snapping options different different type of snapping tools are available here these tools are related to rendering purpose or texturing purpose third row called self most common use tools by default available here these are different different tabs related to different different workflow but in this course we use only curve and surface self in the left side these are navigation related tools first option is selection tool if you want to select any object make sure this tool is activated or you can also activate by using keyboard by pressing keyboard shortcut Q these are other different selection tools uh, basically these are component based selection tools or freeform selection tools so we will discuss about these tools in later four tool is move tool if you want to select and move any object make sure this tool is activate keyboard shortcut is w fifth tool is rotate tool keyboard shortcut is e if you want to select any object and rotate in any axis you can use this tool and sixth and last tool is scale tool by using this tool you can select and scale any object these are panels related options so by default first panel options is assigned so it's open with this large perspective viewport if you want to switch to another viewport there are three main options available by clicking in these icons you can change different different panel options according to your use in the last option related to outliner when you create any object in the viewport all the object listed in this outliner window i switch back to first panel option if you click on outliner button this window will collapse like this and if you click again it will appear so it's a toggle button in the right side two main options are available first is channel box and second is attribute editor by clicking on these button you can activate if these buttons are not available so you can click on this button for show and hide channel box and this button for attribute editor in the bottom area it's called time slider or command line help line tools related help and tips are available in the bottom area let's create some object in the viewport and use all these navigational tools so i choose nerve sphere just click now instructions are available on the viewport just click and drag so object will create it like this object also listed in outliner window and the object related parameters also available in attribute editor when you click on this object these construction line will appear it means this object is selected i create some other object so you will understand in better way i just click on nerve q click and drag so first this tool 
will create a base and then click in drag upside so this box will create it same as you can also create slender so first this base will create and then second time when you click and drag so this slender will create it so this object is selected because these lines appear when you click on this so this object actually uh, these are some different type of object and sphere is a different type object if you watch in the outliner when you click on this so this object is selected but there is a little plus sign so this object is created with two bottoms and a slender so these are little bit complex object same as nerve cube these objects are created with six different planes so these are some complex nerve object and it's a very simple nerve object if you want to select and move any object you have to choose move tool click and drag by using particular access handles these are x y z these colors show which color is assigned from which axis so by using these handles if you want to move freeform just click in center and drag like this. same as other yeah, freeform or move to particular axis just select all just click and drag it's called window selection so all the side will select it and click and drag or by using different different handles if you want to rotate any object first select this object and choose rotate tool you can activate these tools by using shortcut keys so just click and drag so in that particular axis object will rotate like this okay. so like this I just press couple of time undo control Z next tool is scale tool first select object if you want to if you want to scale in particular axis just click on that axis handle and click up or down or left or right according to axis like this just press undo two time if you want to scale uniformly just click in center and zoom sorry scale inside or outside so object will scale like this if you want to zoom in and zoom out just click and drag the scroll wheel inside and outside so viewport will go inside or outside so object will zoom in or zoom out if you want to rotate this object in orbit rotation so just press alt in the keyboard and left click and click left right like this by using alt key and left mouse button if you want to change into four panel view just press space bar like this and if you want to maximize this viewport just hover mouse and press space bar so like this you can switch different different viewport it's a quick information about my interface and navigation tools i hope you understand